we ran a play test of the upcoming Conan role-playing game by Modifius, and uh, I was very fortunate to get to run the game. Uh, I'm going to be doing some writing on the game, and uh, this was a chance for me to check out the system and play with some experienced uh, folks who also happen to be Howard fans and scholars. That was a singular thrill because we're playing this fast action combat adventure uh, and, and we're using this, this uh, looping narrative style and we're 30 feet from where Robert wrote the Conan stories. Uh, it was a wonderful uh, once in a lifetime kind of experience. So we, we really, and I think all of us realized the uniqueness of the situation and channeled as much of uh, the author as we could in spirit appropriately. So that was, uh, that was one of my uh, highlights as a Howard fan and as uh, someone who's been working with Howard in Howard Studies for years. That was great. Welcome everybody to the Robert E. Howard House and Robert E. Howard Days. This is Thursday before the event actually kicks off and we are all here uh, to participate in a very special once in a lifetime opportunity. We're gonna be play testing uh, the new Conan role-playing game, uh, Adventures in an Age Undreamed of. Robert E. Howard's Conan. Robert E. Howard's Conan. Adventures in an, Adventures age, in an age Undreamed of. By Modifius Games. That's right, Modifius was kind enough to send us a playtest pack and we're gonna uh, give this a try. Um, my name is Mark Finn. Uh, I'm one of the regulars here at Howard Days. Uh, sitting right next to me is Indiana Bill Cavalier, uh, also a stalwart, uh, Chris Gruber, uh, Jonas Priedis, Todd Woods, Jeff Shanks, and we are all uh, regulars here at Howard Days, although this is Jonas's first time, so you're getting extra special yeah. behind the scenes <laughs> coverage. Uh, I am very excited that we're going to be doing this 30 feet from where Robert E. Howard wrote the Conan stories. Where Robert E. Howard created Conan. This is one of my uh, all-time favorite places to be, and uh, so I'm, uh, thank you guys for agreeing to do this. We're here thank at you. Robert E. Howard's living room. Yeah. yeah. Playing a con <laughs> yeah. play game. It doesn't, doesn't get any yeah. cooler. Yeah. Than it it really uh, right here. Uh, yep. Those of you on the internet who may be watching this for posterity, uh, nanny nanny boo boo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we've, we've got a basic idea of how the rules go. We've uh, started from uh, uh, this, and so we're gonna kick this off with the playtest uh, scenario, I am going to read the uh, flavor text at the beginning to set the stage, and then from there, uh, it's off to the races. All right? <clears throat> at the beginning of the game, you have been in captivity for 24 hours. Uh, never mind the circumstances of what brought you here. Uh, all anybody knows is that you five are fresh recruits. Looking around, every one of you is different, clearly from different nations and different backgrounds. At this point, you all have one thing in common. You are captives, and you have no desire to remain so. The last hammer falls with a metallic chink. The sweat-crusted iron rivet pops free, and the cuff of the slave manacle drops away. This is your reward for diligence, for being meek and not causing trouble. A night free from the chains that have plagued you since your enemies tossed you into this mitra-forsaken quarry. They all watch the other slaves clutching their uncollected tools at your back. Nazareth from behind the baskets of hard bread and stew buckets on the oaken table before you, his sneering thugs. Even that pig-eyed fool, Abdenal, watches, perched like a fat vulture at the lip of the red pit, and surrounded by eight of his mail-clad hirelings, pelished mercenaries from western Shim. They all expect meek posturing of broken men but no more. You can taste your freedom. It lies beyond the scattered stone blocks across a field of fist-sized limestone scraps and up a sheer cliff to the surface. From the middle of the cliff juts the stone outcrop where Nazareth and his cronies climb into sleep each night. They call it the eunuch's ear. And twin rope ladders dangle off of it very enticingly. Yes, freedom lies at the edge of your grasp now. It's time these dogs know you for what you truly are, not some slowly rotting slaves on death's threshold, but predators hewn from whalebone and gristle. The night is yours, gentlemen. What shall you do? The guard looks at your manacles and says, there, eight hours. Enjoy it, slave. You're back in irons tomorrow. 
Okay. Describe the immediate area where we are. All right. You guys are in a very small part of the pit, okay? Uh, mm -hmm. The two slaves in front of you... Uh, that's these two. That's these two guys. These two guys uh, have just struck uh, the last of your chains free, all right? Uh, which, who is who over here? All right. Me. Me. That's me. I'm the door for the axe. Okay. Uh, Gru, if that's you in... Right. Uh, the big... You were the last one uh, freed. So you all are now looking at each other, rubbing your wrists. Everybody behind you, uh, and all of them have, have had wonderful advice for you for the past 24 hours. For God's sake, say nothing. <laughs> if you value your lives, if you value your dignities, you don't know what they're like. As of right now, all you have on is a twist of loincloth. You have no weapons, uh, no nothing. But at your feet lie one pair of chains, which the, uh, which the helper has not yet picked up. He has a basket full of the rest of your irons. Okay. All right. Are there any torches? Uh, it is, uh, the sun is setting, okay. no torches yet, uh, but there will be torches uh, coming out as, uh, as the pit darkens. Uh, the sun, is, this is the eastern side, uh, so the sun is coming down uh, in the east, uh, or I'm sorry, in the <laughs> west. So you're gonna have, right now you have shade over here, gotcha. but not there. Thank you. And, and these guys are all working, chained? No, no, it's the end of the day. The The table over here is where you're going to get your uh, cup of gruel and okay. crust of bread. So they're all loose, but... but yeah, but. they're about to, yes. Okay. So at this point, you have two avenues available to you, all right? Uh, the pit walls are pretty sheer, uh, but right here is access. And if you can get to the top here... Uh, you can uh, perhaps liberate yourselves. However, uh, they're watching you. you. All eyes are on you, so if you make a move, you need to make a bold move. Forget this. I'd rather die than be a slave, you coffee and dog. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I'm going to grab the chain to my feet and swing it at that dude right there. And I'm standing the guy with the basket. I'm, basket I'm, I'm, so I'm, 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 I'm buying an extra uh, attack, okay. Okay. I'm buying an extra D20. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna throw, gonna throw a thread in there. That was cool. All right. All right. So what do we got here? I got uh, six and a... All right. So my melee combat is a 10. Yes. So I got one success. All right, one success is enough to hit him. Okay. Uh, so with the chain, uh, chains do um, one plus three dice. Okay, one plus three dice. Yep, one okay. plus three CDs. Was this the guy with the, um, which one had the basket? The basket is uh, the guy, the guy. yeah. Okay. Uh, so you're gotcha. swinging across. Okay, so it did one point. One point of damage. Uh, okay. Which is fine. That's, that's going to be enough to at least get him to... Uh, you look very surprised. <laughs> but he holds on to the die. He holds on to the basket. Him in the face. Uh, but. but he is he's staggered. So uh, okay. now in if we're gonna if we're just gonna go in right, clockwise right. melee, yeah. yeah. Uh, gentleman with the Kirby sword, who's that? Me? Yes, yeah. Todd. What's okay. what well right. I see that he's starting to stagger. Right. And so I will um, take a swing at him with my legs to try and cause him to fall down. Like as long as he's already grab the basket. As long as he's already <laughs> falling backwards. All right. I'm not sure if I need to try an extra dice, but I only have an 11, so that's not quite. That's 50 percent chance. Yeah, essentially, this is, yeah. This is important. Okay. So I'm going to give him another threat. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know, started out with a whole bucket full of ten. Yeah. Yikes. Oh, you can use that for him. Yeah. Yeah, the downside is, is then it increases his yeah. ability to like do, do other stuff, bad thing. stuff to us. All right, so here we go. Let's do it. A ten, and one, and two, two success, and a fourteen. All right, so you got a momentum too. Probably. Yes, which means the basket goes flying, and um, so what do you want? Where where does the basket land, Todd? It lands where I can grab a chain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to let you grab a chain on the way down. The right. basket spills and out in front of you. You grab of one out of the air. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I cause it to, to fling it over here amongst the rest of the people. Roll so. your roll damage for the tackle. Yeah. Uh, and actually for the tackle, you're going to roll. What's your... Um, Come on, one. You can use momentum for, right. like, if you can't think of something cool, you can use it to do extra damage. Right. Well, momentum is because I want the basket kind of to fall within the reach of the rest of yeah. the Yeah, yeah. you can't That's think of something cool, you know. Yeah. 
to the basket guys or something like that. Right. Uh, so the good news is, is he is down, and uh, the man who has struck your manacles uh, screams, yeah. Guards! They're escaping! <laughs> was there eight or was there nine in these guys? Not with the boss. Okay, eight with nine. the boss. So nine. I think I had, nine with the boss. Yeah, ten total. Okay. Yeah, ten total. Okay, okay. so we got the right number. All right. Um, so I have a chance. Go, yes. And so. uh, uh, am I going to be able to do these two things? I would like to grab a manacle and then begin to use one of my abilities to persuade our yeah, slave. Oh, yeah. 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 Grab the chain and, free and, and turn around. Yeah. Okay, which is, that's what I would like to do. Perfect. All right, so, and then I'm going to try persuade here. Fellow slaves, it is our chance for freedom. Follow us. Be cannon fodder. I am smart. <laughs> Not the last part, but. Uh, <laughs> that was and so I'm going to try to do this through um, persuade. Very good. Uh, which so is a 17. Whoa, oh, wow. Okay, that's great. So I'll only use two. Yes. And I got a nine and a ten. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Uh, so uh, that's successful. The slaves stir. Uh, he's right. There's more of us than there are of them. Uh, There's a bunch of them, right? That's right. Your brothers of the chain are a wretched lot. Stick thin scarecrows huddled in rags, pus running like sores, and beards crawling with vermin. Perfect. They clutch their baskets and their hammers to their breasts like talismans. But there's something deep in their eyes, though, gleaming like hooded lamps. Past a fog of fear and pain, there is fury, hope, hope. and a naked greed for the cool air of freedom. Free! Free! <laughs> Get they up. have found their leader. Uh, it isn't me. <laughs> oh, it's, it's oh, like you. you. <laughs> the slaves of the Red Pit are a varied lot, native Cothians, gaunt from hunger, Shemites with wild eyes and unkempt blue-black beards, tawny-haired Argosians who Perfect. pine for the like sea, the and proud <laughs> Ophirians who cling to their arrogance in spite of their station. Despite their differences, they fight with the feral persistence of a pack of wild dogs, and they are going to move uh, into the next yeah. zone. So, so they're going to go from slide all of those guys to over to right here. Yeah. All 120? Yeah, like uh, no. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Is there going to be a limit to how many heard him? Yeah, yes. 12, yes. Are gonna come. Mm -hmm. 12 are going to come. So, okay. so there's going to be there's going to be three. Yeah, there's going to be four guys. mobs of three slaves each. You don't get the whole oh, group, but you get some. That's all right. Some of these guys slay us because they look more like peasant types. Sure. And we'll make, uh, we'll throw some more bad guys. That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, I think I'd like to do that. Yeah. So, okay. one of the Karen, ten. give me a couple more if you got them. Here. He looks slavish. You <laughs> <laughs> slave. Ice cream's ready. Oh, no. Thanks. <laughs> Dwarf Indy. Uh, Command. Yeah. All right, I'm going to, uh, I, I've already picked up a chain. Uh huh. And as I swing it, I'm going to do a barrel roll right over to the guy. Well, the guy that's closest. Here. Using acrobatics? Just using acrobatics. Okay. Doing a barrel roll, so when I come up, I've got even more momentum on that chain. On Very screen. good. Crack him across the I'm right. moving the rolling on two. success. Or two more. Okay. <laughs> Eight and 18. You got one. You got the attack, but not the acrobat. So he's okay. over here. So roll uh, three uh, of these. It's one plus three D6. So you did two, two points. Plus three. Three, oh, three, three points. Yep. Oh, congratulations. He's down. Hey, wait, did you roll a six? No, it was a five. Mm -hmm. No, no. Yeah. five, four, six. All right, he's down. Uh, you now stand right. over him. Uh, and Looking uh, at him real quickly, does he have a knife, a sword? He has like a that? truncheon. Uh, a big honking club. Yeah, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> that was for a second. He, he doesn't have it anymore. Okay, very good. You're going to grab the, case, you're gonna so. grab the <laughs> truncheon and the... Um, Chain the truncheon. Yes. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah. Rube, you're the last man. Uh, I, what's uh, what's the plan? Well, I have a professional talent of command. Okay. I'd like, to, I'd like to try to rally these guys to do what I want them to do. And I'd like to discuss with you guys what you think we good. should do. Can we have discuss them? Discuss fast. Can they, can they flank around and start tossing rocks mm -hmm. and things down? Uh, they... These guys right here. It's not really down, it's all on the same level. Yeah. Right. All, right. All right. Same, How yeah. tall is this wall? It's not, it's, a not a wall. it's not a wall, it's a zone. It's, a, ar it's arbitrary. Okay. These it's should just, probably be dotted lines. Yeah. All right. It's so just an arbitrary They're line. all together. Again, I'm going to try to use my talent to, to encourage these guys to attack this group. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can rally in a second group of, of slaves. That's fine. Yeah, uh, he's got a command. Yeah. What's your command skill? 14 with a 3 and a... Okay, so you need to roll 2d6 and mm -hmm. you need to hit. At least 2d6. Remember, no, we can always buy extras. Oh, yeah. sorry. 
you want to roll more? No, you're fine. 60. Yeah, I got it both. Okay, did one of them go under your... No. no. Second number? Okay. No. So watch that right. second number in parentheses, too. That's your focus. Okay, that's if where you lost me a momentum, right? Yes. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah, or if you bought extra dice and... Um, well, you got two successes, right? Yes, mm-hmm. I did. Yeah. So, so you may have gotten some momentum, or two successes may make a Two success. Five. You only needed one, so you got two, so that's momentum. So, so I've scooped up my, my manacle. Yes. I've raised it above my head and said, Slaves! I want, I want you to attack! Attack! <laughs> Get him! Attack! What's his name, the slave uh, master? Yeah. Uh, Nazareth. We all know his name? Yes. yes. Na- Nazareth! Kill him! All right. Um, insert hair the dog joke here from... Yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Now you're messing but, son but of a our, bitch. But our friend the game oh, okay. master pulled one of his threat dice. I see that, because he understood. Nazareth's <laughs> big taking shit. Right. Yeah. We're good. Okay, so uh, move that second group. So do you do this one or uh, this one? That one there. Move them into that zone right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. there we go. All right. We have a scrum going. Thinking, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so this is they good. So we're testing those, these rules. Yes, we're very much so. This is right. Good. Yeah. Um, da, 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 da. And also they're between me and the yes, bad guys. Yes, they so. can take all the answers <laughs> exactly. now. There's plenty more where they came from. <laughs> uh, well, the good news is, is now there's so many people milling around in this area. Uh, it's going to make it harder for you guys to um, get hit with arrows. Good. Yeah, 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 yeah. However, yeah, I knew this <laughs> was you, you will be, as you're breaking away, you know, to cover. Right. You, they've got an open shot. All right. Um, so at this point, no reward comes without risk. Yeah. Uh, Nazareth uh, stands up and. Uh, grabs his whip and begins cracking it, uh, sending uh, several of the slaves uh, scattering. Uh, the other guys uh, all got truncheons, and uh, they uh, they join the melee for a beatdown. So give me just a second to uh, right. do some of this real quick. Okay, so um, does he move towards him, or just cracks from there, do you think? I wonder where Nazareth oh, is. Oh, Slow. Wow. <laughs> 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 wah, wah, wah. Okay. Eyeballs go explode. Not good. It's a cat of nine tails. It's <laughs> Archers, shoot this scum down where they stand. Uh, and here comes a volley. Great. So I need everybody oh. to make uh, an agility save. Uh, you save need to roll under roll. your agility on roll 2d20. 20. Wow. I did. Oh, oh two ones. Wow. Well played. Uh, oh, I'm saved. I got the shot. As okay. I'm absolutely. I did not frighten. I think a tie control. is not. A, it doesn't work, right? Uh, tie or less. It's 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 it's, it's, sure? it's eleven or under. Yeah. All right. Here it yeah. goes. Here okay. Then I made it. Here eleven and a two. Okay. And okay. mine is. What'd you say? I got two in? ones as well. Agility. Right. Oh, I missed one. Snake eyes. Not only do you dodge the arrows, you catch them. <laughs> yeah, and I'm gonna be the world's worst thief. And throw them back. You've got two momentum, which you can sit on if you want to, or. I'm going to give you an opportunity to, uh, while they're sh- while they're shooting this way, you could, <laughs> you've got a you've got a chance to get to the wall before anybody else to, does. To this here? Yeah. Okay. Or so get, describe this wall to them. Yeah. Let's go over here. Right here. This and, and spread that out a little bit so you can th- see. At this edge here. here, at this edge here, the this becomes this. Okay. It's so, vertical. So now the, the, consider this vertical. All right. Uh, this is the Unix here. This is where the cave entrance is right here. It's a ledge. And, and it's, a, it's a ledge that leads into this, all right? And these uh, are the ladders going up? Yeah, yeah, and those are the two rope ladders that are hanging and going up. Right. These guys are actually not on the ledge. They're actually all the way up further. I think yeah. there's a sideways uh, view of that in the back of that plate. There's, the, there's yeah. not. Oh, yeah, there's yeah, there okay. wasn't. <clears throat> this area, where, this is basically a limestone mine, quarry, quarry yeah. as I recall. And yes. This area where, where it's kind of an odd shape. That's where a lot of the stuff is going on and there's lots of rocks and yeah, crap there's no, there. there's no loose rock area. That was no. my next question. Right. No, but right here, if you want to head this way, you can grab a rock. Right. All right. But it's also slow moving because, you know, we were barefoot and it's mm-hmm. sharp rocks. And, and he's offering me a momentum spend. Or you can, two. or you can, you know, you, you, you got two of them, so yeah. you can hold on to them if you need them later. It's up to you. Yeah, I yeah it costs you a momentum to save, save them. It, okay, so you get one if you, if you don't do it now. Okay. <clears throat> the thing about it though is, I don't. And this basket right here, mm-hmm. uh, this is uh, currently uh, empty and tied off down here, but it's hanging about halfway up the wall. 
Oh, I could eat. I could actually. You could jump in. What I could do is I could try to use stealth as well and go up there and try to lower this down. Actually, no, it's not. It's not tied down here. It's a. It's a wooden crank up top. Oh, it's a. It's a. It's, it's a crank at the, at the top. top. Yeah, it's a crank okay. up top. But it's, so it's. It's not. It's so not it's, easily it's, grabbed. It's not all the way down. You <clears throat> well, remember this is forty feet of ledge. So yeah. Right. It's. Let's consider this about forty feet right here. So you could you could jump this, but it would be a long jump. And I think they. And these guys are going to be. Describe that you can climb the wall and attempt to jump into it. Right. Which makes several rolls. And I'll be, you yeah, then what will what'll happen is I'll end up rolling to uh, miss being shot. Yeah, yeah. To evade being shot. Well, they would and have so to you clear you. this out. You know. and, yeah. 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 Okay, well. No, but that's the that's well, chip. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually hold my momentum for now. Okay, so you have one momentum that yeah. you can hold on to, all right? I do have a name. Maria. I thought you were. I thought you were. Nice. Here. Oh, she's over here. Mm -hmm. She's the prize. She's the prize. Oh. Here, switch, switch into yeah. There you go. Yeah. All right. So who didn't make the save? Uh, I this, missed one. I had an eleven instead of a ten. I'm, I'm of the sand snake tribe. And there you go. <laughs> uh, you are hit the arrow. Oh, <laughs> you'll be fine. You'll uh, be fine. Yeah. <clears throat> Shake it off. Don't be a flesh <laughs> Let's see what the arrows do. This will be great. Um, yeah. Arrows. Looking forward to that. Yeah, you're gonna be okay. <laughs> um,